3060 cards even if they don't say LHR? Yes. So the reason the RTX 3060 does not say LHR is because they're all LHR cards. You basically have to do a hack in order to get the full hash rates, but just be aware it only works on the first versions of the LHR cards. So that's why the box won't say LHR on the 3060s. So just be aware that all RTX 3060s are LHR cards. So you're not going to get the full hash rate on the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. Now, the only way you can get the full hash rate on the RTX 3060 is if you're able to use the dev drivers. And in order to do so, you basically had to buy an RTX 3060 before June. So any RTX 3060 June or after June, you cannot use the dev drivers and you will not get the full hash rate potential. So as you can see in this article, the nvidia rtx 3060 release time and date rtx 3060 was released on february 25th so anything from february 25th to june you're able to use the dev drivers so this article it says right here nvidia geforce rtx 360 lhr and rtx 3080 ti with new cryptocurrency miner limiter have been tested this article was published on may 28th and it says right here the geforce rtx 3060 lhr was tested and before the rtx 3060 you will see that you're getting the max hash rate and then you'll see your hash rates decreasing so if you have an rtx 3060 and it starts out a lot higher and then it decreases then more than likely you can use the dev drivers and get the full hash rate but if you get any rtx 3060 in june or after june you will not be able to use the dev drivers at all and what also happens is when you start mining on an rtx 3060 that was produced in june or after june it will automatically start at the lower hash rate it will not decrease like before so so if you do buy an RTX 3060 after June and you try to install the dev drivers, this is the error you're going to get. It's going to state that the driver is not compatible with the graphics card. So this is what Nvidia fixed in the newer RTX 3060s. So just be aware, any RTX 3060 bought on June or after, the dev drivers will not work and you will not be able to get the full hash rates mining Ethereum. Now, I did make this one chart that will go over what you can mine, and I'll go over the profitability at the end. So if you have an RTX 3060 revision one bought before June, using the dev drivers and doing a couple steps and I have a video on it, you are able to get about 50 mega hashes pulling 120 watts. Now, if you get any other versions of the RTX 3060, or if you bought the RTX 3060 after June, you're going to lose about half your hash rate. So you're going to get around 26 mega hashes pulling around 100 watts. Now, just be aware that MB Miner did a 70% unlock. So using MB Miner, you're able to get around 31 mega hashes pulling around 100 watts. But just be aware that it's also Silicon Lottery. So the hash rates and the power draw may be slightly off. You want to give the hash rate maybe plus or minus one or two. And with the power, maybe you want to give it plus or minus 10 watts. But I did list all the other coins you can mine on the RTX 3060. Now you can mine Ravencoin, which you should be getting around 22 mega hashes pulling around 140 watts. Or you can also mine Ergo, which you're going to get around 120 mega hashes pulling around 100 watts okay so now let's check out the profits now for the profits it depends on the price of the coin the difficulty and the block rewards for ethereum so let's first check out the prices so the price of ethereum as of right now making this video is at three thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars and seventeen cents the price of raven coin is around 15 cents and the price of ergo is at seventeen dollars and seventy one cents so now plugging all the figures in what to mine just go ahead and calculate now this is if you got the first version of the 3060 or if you bought the 3060 before before June. On Ethereum, you're going to make around $4.24 a day before electricity. Mining Ergo, you're going to make around $3.44 a day before electricity. And mining Ravencoin, you're going to make around $3.09 a day before electricity. So as of right now, if you can get the full hash rates mining Ethereum, Ethereum will be the best thing to mine. Now, let's say you got a version 2 3060 or a 3060 you bought on June or after June. Let's change up the numbers. So pulling up the chart, let's go ahead and see if we can get the max hash rate available which is the MB miner 70% unlock so around 31 mega hashes now the power is a little bit lower and so let's drop the power to around 100 watts so all I changed was the F hash hash rate to 31 and the watts to 100 let's go ahead and calculate so now checking out the profits it looks like ergo is on top with three dollars and 39 cents a day before electricity and raven coins at three dollars and ten cents a day before electricity and mining ethereum you're still making around two dollars and 63 cents a day before electricity so if you have an RTX 3060 that can't mine Ethereum to its full potential, ideally it's better to either mine Ergo or Ravencoin.
So in conclusion, just realize it's basically when you buy the RTX 3060. Now I've been getting a lot of messages stating that they cannot use the dev drivers. So more than likely the RTX 3060 you bought was in June or after June. But do you think in the future, one of these minor programs will be able to unlock the LHR cards to mine Ethereum to its full potential? Me personally, I think it may be possible, but let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.